Before we proceed to the construction of your orthographic drawing, let us try if you still recall the step in sketching an orthographic views. On your quiz notebook, answer this drill. Directions Arrange the correct sequence of steps in sketching orthographic drawing. Write capital letter A for the first step, letter B for the second step, C for the third step, and so on. Are you ready? Let's begin! Are you done? Let us check your work. What comes first? Very good. Study the object and determine the views and their arrangement on a drawing paper. What's next? Correct. Draw the details. Followed by trace the visible edges. And show hidden lines then the last step is to label the views good job students i think you are ready to construct an orthographic drawing direction given the pictorial drawing sketch the three principal views Follow the steps in sketching orthographic views. Use pencil only on a short band paper. Are you ready? Let's do it! Given the pictorial drawing, we're going to sketch the three principal views. The top view, front view, and the right side view by following the steps in sketching the orthographic drawing. Step 1 is to study the object and determine the views on their arrangement on the drawing paper. Okay, first is we're going to study the object. If we're going to project on this direction, you are looking for the top view. On this direction you are projecting on the front view on this direction you are projecting on the right side view let us label this surface a this is surface B C and surface D. If we're going to project on the top, A is being projected. On the front, letter B is being projected. On the right side, letter C and letter D. Okay, let us determine the views on their arrangement on the drawing paper. In the beginning of the sketch, the construction line must be very light lines. Okay. First is, we're going to draw a vertical line. Followed by a horizontal line. Okay. Number two is, determine the sizes of the views and block in the views. Okay, the length of the top is equal to the length of the front. The length of the top, we're going to get the length. Length, and that is the length also of the front. Okay, let us draw a project vertical line downward. The height of the front view is the height of the right side. 
we're going to get the overall height. From this vertical line, another vertical line, then draw a horizontal line. Then, we're going to make a space between the two views. Here, we're going to make another space by drawing first a square here. Then, let us project this down. To opposite corner, we're going to project 45 degrees. Okay, next, the width of the top is equal to the width of the right side. Okay, here, the width of the top. Let us project this up to the 45 degrees. Intersection of two lines. We're going to draw this down or project it down. Okay, did you follow? Very good. Next is number three, draw the details. Okay. The details on the top in relation to front view. This is line one, two, three, four. Line one, four. Number two and three. Okay. So here, the distance from number two and here, the distance for or the length for line three. Okay. How about the details from the front in relation to right side? We have one, two, three. Okay. One and three. This is your line two. One, two, three. Okay. Up here, line two, we're going to project on the right side. Okay, next is trace the visible edges and show the hidden lines if any. Okay, for th this demonstration, I will uh, use marker so that you can see the visible edges. Let's begin. Let us trace the visible edges. Okay, on the top, line 1, 2, 3, 4. This is line 1, 2, 3, 4. On the front, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, and this is line eight. On the right side, we have here line one, two, three, four for surface C. One, two, three, and four. Surface T, 1, 2, 3. We're going to continue this line. 1, 2, then this is line 3. Okay. This time, we're going to show hidden edges. Do you think we have hidden portion on this tutorial drawing? Correct. We have here hidden portion on the top. The projection line here and the projection line here. Okay. In showing the vis invisible line or hidden portion, we're going to use a series of short brushes to show that the part is invisible. 
thin. Next step is we're going to label the views and erase the construction line. Okay, the top view is labeled on the top of the view. Here, this is the front view. The label is below the view and that is horizontally aligned with the right side view. Then the last step is we are going to erase the construction line. All the construction line that you use for the construction of your orthographic uh, drawing, you are going to erase. Okay. This is now your orthographic drawing based on this pictorial drawing. Did you get it? Wonderful! So, how do you find the activity? It is so easy, isn't it? Hold on everyone, we've only just begun. Let us remember, in sketching an orthographic drawing, observe the alignment of views. The top view is directly above the front view. The front view and the side view also lined up with each other. In sketching an orthographic views, it is a job to be done systematically. And now, let's proceed to the next part of our lesson. Let us check if you really understood today's discussion. Directions Answer the following questions and write the letter of the correct answer in your quiz notebook. Are you ready? Let's begin! Number 1. Which of the following is the first step in sketching an orthographic drawing? A. Study the object B. Draw vertical line C. Draw horizontal line Letter D. Determine the sizes of the views. The correct answer is letter A. That's right. Number 2. In labeling the views, where do you place the name of the top view? A. Above the view B. Below the view C. On the side Letter D. Anywhere The answer is letter A. If you get it right, that's a very good job. If not, don't worry. Three more to go. Let's keep going. Number three. In the beginning of sketching the orthographic, the weight of lines must be A. Heavy B. Light C. Medium D. Very light If your answer is letter D, you are absolutely correct. Next, number 4. If it's a drawing made without the use of drawing instrument. A. Freehand drawing B. Mechanical drawing C. Orthographic drawing D. Pictorial drawing The answer is letter A. I hope you got it right. And now, for the last item. It is a systematic process of making orthographic or pictorial sketches. A. Drawing B. Pictorial drawing C. Technical drawing D. Technical sketching 
The answer is letter D, technical sketching. Everybody did great. We are almost done students. Before I finally say goodbye to everyone, for your assignment, make a screenshot of this. Directions. Given the pictorial drawing, sketch the three principal views. Follow the steps in sketching orthographic views. One unit or grid is equivalent to one centimeter. Use pencil only on a short band paper. See you on our next video lesson. Thank you so much for staying with me. All you did a wonderful job. Again, I'm teacher Fredly B. Miranda. It's been a pleasure being with you today. Saying, the best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. Keep safe everyone.